Hello there, friends. Thank you so very much for waiting. Welcome on in or welcome back. We are playing some more Coral Island today. Week two, uh, midway through summer, we have been uh, slowly working our way through and kind of learning the ropes here. And unfortunately, me having, you know, a break, I have to relearn it every week when I come back. That's OK, though. Thank you. Uh, we've switched over to a tater cam for this afternoon, if anyone doesn't know. Tater is kind of like a channel mascot. He's based off of a, uh, a plushie that I own. Um, and he has little outfits and different controllers. So he has his like little farm outfit on right now. Um, but it's just, it's handy for days where I either don't want to be on camera or I have a bit of a headache. I think um, today it's a mix of the lights, me being half awake. And also, unfortunately, today is one of those weird days where my headset is hurting my ear and then that's going into my head and just not feeling very good. So. Take it nice and easy for the second half of stream. Yeah, yeah. Um, it used to be before I just wouldn't come on camera and sometimes I wouldn't stream or other times, like, you know, it would just look kind of empty. So having Tater, having, you know, essentially this little mascot character has really made a difference. All right, so we are on to the 18th. I don't think it's anyone's birthday today. Um, I do have some watering I gotta do. Yeah, Tater's cute. He's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. Like he's he's literally just a little PNG tuber, but he he's he's a fun, fun little guy. I look at him. <laughs> also, pretend he isn't holding a PlayStation Five controller. He's definitely holding an Xbox controller. <laughs> I don't have a, a picture of him with his, uh, uh, or sorry, with the Xbox controller. He's just a little guy. Cute Lily Bow story. While you were gone, I found her pillow. Put her head... Uh, put it under her head. She mad at me like she was saying thanks. Oh, she's like, thanks for the pillow. I appreciate it. Uh, let's go back in the water today. It's just a white Xbox controller. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's bring our babies outside. Got our chicken and our duck. Oh, as we get more, they're going to start coming out in like a little parade. Super cute. Oh, so I think that's our duck egg. I'm going to... I figured that would have to be offered, so I'm not going to make that into mayonnaise or anything today. God, the fences in this game are weird. I'm going to have a quick shower and then eat before meeting with Claire's siblings at the Toys and Miniatures Museum. Oh, that sounds like such a fun day! Enjoy! We'll see you next time, Jacob. Yeah, let's go donate this before I forget, because I will. Um, uh, was it this one? It's this one. I once went to... it wasn't a miniatures museum, it was like a wax museum. Uh, and my mom mentioned before going in, and I'm still not entirely sure if she was pulling my leg or not. Oh, wait a minute. I want to upgrade my net or my fishing rod. Um, she mentioned that she went there as a little girl. This is in, like, I think, like, Victoria, BC. Um, and this place has been known to occasionally have actual people instead of wax figures, just to kind of, like, you know, mess with people a little bit. And uh, my mom told the story of apparently she was staring very, very intently at one of them. And then it winked at her. And like, you know, she was a kid and she freaked out and started crying. So <laughs> they had to like, you know, calm her down. And it's like, mm, no, no. <sighs> yeah, I am not big on that. So when we went there, I wasn't like a tiny kid. I was in my like preteen years, I think. But I remember being really skittish and nervous the entire time. <laughs> 
And it's like, why would you tell me this? I don't want to know. Oh, goodness me. Uh, right, this needs glass. I remember that. Here we go. I don't know if those will be done by today, but at least I have that ball rolling. Hey, unicorn, how are you? Welcome on in. I hope you're having a great day. Oh, Tiggy picture of the days in the Discord, yay. Tiggy pictures. been great but getting over it oh i really hope things continue to improve then snuggle down onto my foot oh doing all the slow blinks oh my goodness we do love a slow blink ollie um seems like he wanted to climb into my lap yesterday he was a little bit nervous because stuff was going on uh, and Ollie's not really a lap cat, but that that little hint that he might actually want to sit on a lap is kind of a big thing for us, so hoping one day he does. Also, the reason why he wasn't feeling so great yesterday is because it was raining. Outside. Not inside, obviously. He was in no way, shape, or form in danger of getting wet that he was upset because it was raining. Somewhere in his vicinity. <laughs> He's a massive baby. Emo Discord from one of the random servers I'm in. Oh, does it look like it's based off Tiggy? Okay, where is this? There's a third one that's meant to be here. like in this corner. There it is. Okay. Let's see where this one leads. Stuck on something? Oh, it did. Wow. Of course, you want to go just where the garbage is. <laughs> up this path to do following the roots. Stuff over here, geez. So we need to clear that out. I'm guessing that is these ones. What do you all think of the diving in this game so far, by the way? Look, 
Like, I'm enjoying it. It's very, very neat. It's very calming down here, but I don't know how interesting it is to watch because it's definitely a lot of just, like, clearing. Is diving your favorite? I like the idea it can get very tedious. Yeah. I definitely appreciate, though. It is satisfying. I agree with that. But I also see the tediousness, too. Playing uh, Rise of the Diving Porsches is mindless. Uh, mindless and cathartic. Definitely, yeah. That's a good way to describe it. Playing Early Access, I loved it. There's something so satisfying about clearing the space. Yeah. Yeah, definitely unique to other farming sims, too. I think the only other game... Like, Sandrock, I wouldn't really call a farming sim. It's a life sim of some sort, but it's not really necessarily farming. Um, but the only other game that I can think of that has maybe this much of a unique take on it, and I've only played a very little bit of it, would be Roots of Pacha. Um, that one's quite interesting. Yeah, I tended to avoid what little farming there was in Sandbox too. It wasn't really my favorite. Not as bad as Porsche though. Oh, uh, I think this might be a donate thing. Yes, that is something we need to donate, so. Glad I noticed that. Now I know where to find them. Oh my god. <laughs> Just when I think I've cleared it all. of stamina here game if you're not careful hurry up and get to your spot <laughs> there we go very real as well in the whale here helping clean trash out of the ocean after corporations have destroyed the natural beauty of the island yeah and the ecosystem I think I mentioned it before, but I do like that they went in an environmental theme and stuck with it. And diving is a big part of it, so I appreciate it being there. I agree with that for sure. We are... We're getting somewhere, that's for sure. Heal the ocean. Can't access this cave right now. I can tell Bear is much better. I've been giving his dinner and he's running up and down the hallway being impatient. He's like, oh my god, dinner. So exciting. Oh, 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 there we go. Y'all didn't see that. That didn't happen. Oh no, there's a friend trapped over here. Okay, well, I'm gonna put down my anchor here so that we can come right back. That did happen and it spooked me. It spooked me too. I wasn't really big on that. Oh, the lag. You're okay, game. You're all right. I don't know how long my hair can survive this heat. I'm gonna be thirsting for Scott. <laughs> Older steady game. <laughs> um, all right, so 
there's some dude with a chainsaw outside next door. Is he meant to be there? It's always that concern. Like, is this is this allowed? Is this okay? Okay, uh, so that I need to offer, but I think I need to offer like a couple of them. So I'm gonna put that there. Take out the sea salt. Um And then this needs to be donated. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I ain't about to go out exploring. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, that reminds me. We have people coming into the apartment on Tuesday uh, to do some uh, cleaning. Like, just building maintenance sort of cleaning. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Um, so on Tuesday... We get the honor and the privilege of having a Mr. Ollie in with us on stream. If anything breaks that day, assume he's broken it. <sighs> and right, for anyone who's new and joining us and being like, oh, why are you blaming your cat? He is a gremlin in cat form. He is a little chaotic orange ball of energy. Um, I have clips of him knocking over monitors and other such things. Like he just, he'll get into everything. So, I say it with love, but like, you know, he can be kind of hard to control, especially when I'm live. Orange cat being chaotic? No way. <laughs> Last time he was on stream, he stuck his butt in the camera. That's pretty average for Ollie, yeah. He needs you to appreciate the booty. Yeah, no, like, like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm half complaining, half joking, but I absolutely adore him. He's, uh, he's a fun cat. Like, that's the thing. He's very entertaining. He's very in your face. He's a little shit affection. Yeah, he's essentially, yeah. Uh, ruby sea dragons can be found in the daytime on the ocean bed 20 meters deep. This critter is considered rare and only appears in summer and winter. Ugh, sorry about that. It's been a long day. I didn't get to sleep until 3 last night and I had a test this morning at 9. So tired. Bye, love ya. I don't know what that show is all about. Uh, tomorrow is sunny. Game of cones. Is it still soup? Soup, okay. When do the channels, like, when do I get new TV shows? Have I just been very unlucky? Uh, to our crystal, it's been a while since my last letter. How are you doing there, sweetheart? We miss you every day. Ashley is giving me a hard time lately. She's refusing her favorite food and she's out most nights. We'll take her to the vet soon. We made you some clappings, your favorite love grandma. Water. Oh, it increases my movement speed. That's nice. Oh, maybe you're trying to fix the fence. Well, that's good, at least. Alright, so those are water. I'm not sure if I can harvest press this yet. Press chaos, press <gasps> king, press chaos, Fudge. press king, press chaos, press king, press chaos, press king, press chaos, press king, press chaos. I guess the king is feeling a little extra chaotic today. Thank you so much for the 46 month resub. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. I hope that you are uh, having a great day. Oui. Okay, so I think we're going. Oh, hi, nice, sir. I think we're gonna go back down to the ocean, but I think I'm also gonna fix or repair. No, not repair. Upgrade my fishing rod because that was kind of annoying. Wanna wanna get good at fishing? Hey there, Johnny. Welcome on in. 
Uh, remember this game when they released it in beta and it's having crazy hype and then died down just as quickly? Is it full release now? Yes. So they're still updating from what I'm understanding, but I think the full story is out and it's like 1.0 release, so. Uh, I don't usually play stuff in early access just because I don't want to have to, like, you know, stop and then keep coming back to the game uh, in between updates, but this game is at least main story-wise finished, so. It's been pretty good so far. Uh, okay, so we're gonna sell that. And I think the next birthday was on the 21st. Yes, okay. Uh, I have a mastery thing I have not spent yet. Chance to catch better quality insects and ocean critters. Chance to catch double. I'm gonna go with the double one again, actually. Yeah, from my understanding at least, it's a lot better than it was. Oh, unicorn, yeah. Question of the day for anyone who missed it as well. Um, if I asked you to make something for dinner, what would you make? Or in other words, if you were having guests, what would you be confident in serving them? Or what would you feel confident making? <gasps> Kitty. Peanut looks adorable today. Peanut always looks adorable. I'd say that's Peanut's secret, but it's not really a secret. Oh, some of these bugs are so fast. I do a mean. Oh, you're the second person to mention mac and cheese, and I do love me some mac and cheese. Main game is finished now, aka stories and some other features added. Other big updates with extra stuff they've promised uh, from Kickstarter. I guess come later. Alright, let's get this upgrade. I don't have wood on me. <laughs> Chicken, some form of potatoes and veggies or spaghetti. Very tasty. I still want that crockpot mac and cheese recipe. I have a casserole. Uh, my family would always make it makes a lot and I feel confident serving it. It's hard to explain what it is exactly though. Hey, you know what? If you think it's tasty, I'd want to try it. Uh, so long as there's no seafood. But aside from that, I am down. There we go. Uh, do we have a fast travel point that's a little bit closer to that place? Uh... I'm still learning the map. I think this is close. Yes. Yes, it is. Buy to get to? Or buy to get something? Yeah, um, everyone's attractive in this game, and it's a bit of a problem. Including, unfortunately, some NPCs that are not romanceable. <laughs> and it's kind of a thing. Make crystal all the seafood. You, you can make it. I won't eat it, but you can make it. Later on, there's a roadmap for extra stuff that they'll add, like multiplayer. Hopefully, with humble closing, they can take their time and don't feel like they need to rush it out. What are they put in that water? Why are they all hot? This is what I want to know. Like, le legitimately, everyone is attractive, and it's a problem because I can't choose. <laughs> and mostly cook anything, just picking one thing. All right, is this a different errand? Uh, am I growing tomatoes? I might be growing tomatoes. Uh, is, is there a way I can check that? Can I look at the map on my farm? Uh, no, that's 
across the ocean? Unfortunately, not. Nah. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta choose. Macaroni salad. Oh yeah, I can mess with those. Uh, what am I growing? How do I figure that out? <laughs> This isn't the game I'm thinking of. Uh, is is there a way to tell what I am currently growing? I feel like one of these is going to be tomato. Because that sounds like something I'd get. I'm going to accept it just in case. Uh, 10 days. Yeah. Why not? Let's see. Okay. And, uh... Oh, hi, Ark. What was I not growing? I don't remember if I was growing starfruit. I may have been. Maybe melon? Yeah, this game is very pretty. Like, overall, it's actually very, very nice to look at. Oh, it's the 9th. Oh, no, it's the 19th. If this is the 15th, we'd be fine. Did I grow? Radish? I think I did last season. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll grow some of these. Why not? Ark, yes. I was thinking the same thing about her, actually. Yeah, cat lover. Same time period. Same time period for sure. Oh, since there's signs you can make. Yeah, so I was playing um, Harvest Moon Back to Nature over the weekend, and you can like go to your map and it'll actually tell you what you planted where, which I really appreciate. So I was, I think I was getting a little bit confused with that game and this game. Here we go. So now I can say I've grown a pretty respectable amount of stuff from uh, from summer. Do some bug catching, fishing, those sort of things, maybe. Oh, right, I can't do fishing. <laughs> I uh, put away my, or I, uh, I'm upgrading my fishing rod. I hadn't played Club Bang when I heard about it later on in life. I don't know what it was, but I just apparently missed out on that craze as a kid. I didn't even know it was still running. Uh, 
Uh, you can use wild forage flowers in the bee houses if you want. It can be useful because you do need honey for some stuff. Yeah, I uh, I did that once and then I kept forgetting to add another one. Are there particular flowers I should try using? Oh, they're all just like unofficial. Okay. Still thing when you had an igloo, there was a town, many games in different areas of the town. That's it, really. Cheapest and most expendable, got you. Gotcha. It's already been donated. While we're talking about online games, I think Neopets was like the main one I played. I tinkered with uh, Gaia online, but like very, very passively. I bet you can change how fast a day passes. Yes, I wish Stardew had added that with 1.6. A lot of other life sims kind of have something similar. Tried to woo someone a bit, but I got booed. Apparently Scott was offended. I gave him a flower for his birthday. How rude! He should be so lucky. Webkins, yeah. Again, I had heard of that one, but I had never, never played it myself. Um, I kind of attribute a lot of my internet usage as a kid to the fact that we had dial-up and we had it for so long. I didn't get like non-dial-up internet until much later. I thought it was leftover salsa I put on my tacos. I think it was actually leftover spaghetti sauce. <laughs> Still tasted fine. As long as it tastes good. To try one of them, but I've been hesitant since most of them use the abbreviation of the name. I don't really want to be going to true. Oh, yeah, no. No, I get why. Um, but yeah, if y'all missed my little mini impromptu announcement earlier, um, we're gonna be playing Neopets on stream on Wednesday, and I'm actually really excited for it. I have been heavily into it for like the last year or so, uh, because it seems like Neopets is kind of trying to have a bit of a revival. They're actually trying to do stuff. There's a plot going on right now, like there's actual things happening. It's not just like a, a dying website, which I thought it was for many years. Um, and I'd love to share that with you all. We also have a new uh, G Fuel flavor um, that's celebrating the 25th anniversary. And I have it sitting beside me. It's sitting on my desk. I'm not going to try it until on stream on Wednesday. We're going to see what it tastes like together. It's called a Golden Berry. I think it was Golden Berry Slush, I think is the flavor. Um, and I am very excited. And also, maybe a bit more personal, if anyone wants to join us on Neopets, um, we have a little section in the Discord where a couple of us have been, like, you know, talking about our dailies and, and stuff like that. Um, and the new plot, of course. And the Ultador Cup that's happening right now as well. Uh, I did like Club Penguin. Played it. When it came out, I was also playing RuneScape at the time and also on I. Oh god, I envy you, I remember that. Or there was a Robot Wars style game where you could battle other people. That was fun too. I remember my friend getting on IMVU. And like, she was like, very young. We were both very, very young. And she was talking with people who were probably older. And it was like, sketchy. And like, her mom was like, don't go on there. And she kept going on there anyway. Are they currently doing the Ultra Cup? Yeah, it's been fun. It's been very nostalgic for me. Um, it's kind of become my little, like, comfort wind-down game. Either in the mornings or at night. 
Um, but I haven't streamed it yet. I did do a YouTube video on it last year, but I never actually got around to streaming it, so I'm kind of excited to finally share that with y'all. Okay, I think we've caught quite a few things. I don't think there was anything new. No. I'm pretty good for uh, donating stuff. I was contemplating saving some of these. Yeah, see, I was I was thinking about saving them for the turkey, but also I feel like I'm struggling with the mun muns in this game. I'm not getting as much money as I would like. I think it's just I'm learning. Here's a little bit more money. When you start with the artisan stuff, you'll be swimming in money. I hope so. Uh, all right, I already read that one. Hey, Lunar how are you doing? Dehydrating the items from the ocean floor. Oh yeah, helped you with money. Okay. Certain animal products. Sorry, I did not look at this. It is sunny tomorrow. Okay. Nope, not a new episode. I'm doing pretty good today. Doing pretty good. Oh, oh, right. I forgot I would need a new scarecrow. Man, that's annoying. Oh, I completely forgot. Okay. Hey. Were there little paw prints? Wait, what? Oh, right, I need to buy one because... Oh, Talon Prince. Yeah, because they put their little feet in my food. Scarecrows. Or crows are mean in this game. Or scarecrows are mean in this game. Or both are mean. Urgent, I'm planning to make Frank his favorite dinner. Eggs, sunny set up. Would you sell me some eggs? I'll be around. Yes. I can do that. Oh. Do I have- ugh, fine. Fine. I'll make one. Uh... I wasn't going to because I'll just buy a better one, but... Hey. Look at how little space that covers compared to this one. Like, it's not even comparable. Oh, but you know what I could do? Oh, the, actually, they don't seem to bother the tree, do they? You know what, friend? You're going to be our new mascot. I didn't really want to make you. You are going to be right there. Oh, no worries, Jenny. I'm sorry about that. I hope you feel better soon. Unwanted but loved mascot. <laughs> Just so I can get better ones. Hey, Faye, how are you doing? Oh, come on in. Oh, can I harvest? Not yet. Okay. In the afternoon making bracelets for next week. Oh, very cool. I'm doing pretty good. It's been uh, a very chill day so far. I might mine today. Kind of feeling going into the mines. Doesn't know yet, but both of us are sharing. 
The piece of swordfish. Oh, spoiled. I always accidentally touch the scarecrow when I don't mean to. babies are doing oh did you you got your code yay i'm so glad to hear that i hope you enjoy i on a pillow and a fan on her she's beyond spoiled <laughs> There we go. All happy. Everyone's doing it. Perfect. Oh, is that a big egg? Wow. That's kind of... <laughs> I needed just, I think, a regular egg for Erica, but I need to uh, offer this anyway, so this is good. I don't think I've sold one of those just off on their own yet, so this is very true. Erica can wait. Uh, let's take a look at... Where's Frank hanging out? Frank is just right there. I um, need to go to the clinic this week for um personal matters. Oh! You don't gotta tell me anything, oh my goodness. Oh, pet peeve, by the way. So, I don't know how it is where y'all are, but it's really hard to get family doctors here. Um, like, borderline impossible to get yourself a family doctor here. So I've been going... What? You busy? What time does he get up? To pepper. I have a pepper for you, sir. I guess we'll wait. Um, so I've been going to a walk-in clinic for a couple years now, ever since my old family doctor went out of business, just because it's such a headache to get yourself onto a waiting list to get seen at a proper family doctor. And my clinic, my walk-in clinic, is always very overcrowded, very noisy, and it just, it's just not a very nice place <laughs> to go. I really hate it. Um, but the thing that gets me every single time is the receptionist there uh, will ask you when you come in what you're there for. And they expect like a full on, like medically correct answer. But you kind of have to yell at them because they're behind like a plastic like divider thingy and it's like well now everyone in the waiting room knows exactly what i'm here for <laughs> and it's like oh <laughs> yeah it sucks it sucks and i hate it i have to go in there at some time this coming week i was gonna go yesterday but i put it off i have hemorrhoids <laughs> exactly right like it's just eh I get that we're all there for some sort of medical thing, but sometimes you just don't want to be yelling out that you gotta get stuff done, you know? I'm here for a thing. That's still a beautiful day at the lake, huh? Oh, sorry. Mom, this is Crystal. You two have met, right? Crystal's the new farmer at that lot. Yes, we've met. How do you do, dear? Mom and I are doing a little stretching. I have some free time today, so what the heck? I figured I'd bring her here. Uh, it's good to stretch. That's true. Uh, it isn't fun doing it alone. Thankfully, Noah doesn't mind keeping me company. Wish I could stay longer. I have to pick up a uh, flower from Sam's. Mom, well, Frank needs to hire more people. I can't be the only one running around for stuff at the tavern. He's too cheap for his own goods sometimes. Son, in that case, maybe you should go do it now. If it's making you anxious, I don't think you should put it off. But you'd be all alone here, Mom. 
Oh, that's a bad idea. All right, then. So I think 30 minutes more and then we head back home. Yeah, Mom? Crystal, join us. Drive. All right, go. Let's move to a different spot. All right, let me catch up with chat here. I can see I've struck a nerve when people have comments on this. I have a bot block stuck in my ass. <laughs> Just full on embarrass them. I have a runny nose, but your nose is fine. I have a runny nose. That's all you need to know for now. Assuming you could lie. See, I think that they put it on like a note for the doctor because whenever whoever it is comes into the room, they'll be like, hi, are you here for like, you know, whatever you told them? I up one doctor's office and I was trying to find a new doctor and the receptionist was like, are you diagnosed with anything? I was like, uh, that's for the doctor to know and not you. Yeah, it, I don't envy the receptionist their job at all, though. I will say I know that they work very hard. It's really stressful, especially the amount of people at my walk-in clinic. But also, I've not had the best interactions with them either, so. My GP surgery won't let you make appointments unless you state what you want the appointment for. Yeah. Um, also, the other fun thing, um, and again, I don't know if this is just here related or here specific, but um, there's a lovely sign up on the wall. So, just to run down the, the situation, you wait, because you don't have a, a family doctor, you wait. You go in, and you get told, oh, it's going to be an hour or two wait. So you sit there for an hour or two of your day. And you finally go in and can talk to a doctor and there's this lovely sign on the wall that says please keep uh patient visits to one symptom at a time like one problem at a time and it's like oh <laughs> i just waited for all this time and you mean i'm gonna have to come back if i want to talk about additional things that aren't related to the one thing i don't know yeah. One appointment, one problem, yeah. Actually, I don't know why I'm not just fast traveling. Oh wait, Frank, that's why. Uh Okay, see so he's working now. I should just switch primary care physicians, and what I really appreciate is that you have to fill out everything online first, that you don't have to tell the receptionist everything except your name when you arrive. I love that. We here, like, they tried to move stuff to be digital here, but so much of our healthcare is still on paper. It's kind of silly. In the US, you have to pay more money if I bring up symptoms that I check up. Oh my god. Yeah, I should be thankful. Honestly, I should be thankful that we don't have that. It's all the same body? How is it not connected? <laughs> what if they all correlate? That's so dumb. Because no two medical things are ever related. All problems are standalone with no overlaps. <laughs> so, um, without getting into specifics, because I don't want to like bore everyone with my medical-ish, I gotta go into the doctor at some point, and pretty much I'm telling them that I'm stopping a certain prescription. Which is fine, I can go off at any time. And that is what the appointment will be for. But I have something else that I want to talk about. So even though I'm not getting really any medical advice other than just informing them of something, I have to make another appointment to talk about a different thing. <laughs> it's so dumb. I can book appointments online, but you have to do it at exactly 8 a.m. And they might not even offer an appointment. Wait, really? Oh, cat lover. Wow, that's a lot. I did a checkup with my PCP. I actually gave her a textbook of things going on and ended up getting a bunch of referrals and specialist appointments. Money, 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 all that matters for them. It's like, please give me an appointment. They can say yes or no. See, that's what I'm planning to do at Sue, honestly. And if they shut me down, oh well, you know, I gave them the heads up that I don't need that prescription anymore. But that is honestly the plan. <laughs> Go in about one thing and then sneak in the other one and hope that I don't get called out for it. Ah, Crystal, perfect. Why don't you join today's tasting? <gasps> what are we tasting? 
It looks like stoplights. Like a traffic co uh traffic lights. That's the word. Like the green, yellow, red. Switching PCP and she's out till December, but the receptionist was so nice. Must live in the state with the best medical system personnel in the entire US. Oh, that's good, yeah. You can have my share. I've had more than enough while preparing this. Thanks for coming here, y'all. Noah's been getting on my case uh, about putting a new item on the menu, so here we are. Came up with three different drink recipes. I'd like you all to taste it. The best drink will be put on the menu. Can't wait, babe. I'll never say no to free food or drink. I'm here to give support in whatever way I can. Alright, here we go. Let's start with the red one. I love the little animations they do. It's great. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's move on to the yellow one. I see. Okay, the green drink is the last one. We'll make our votes at the end. Uh, why is the green one... Why is only my green one smoking? Uh, oh, now they all are. There we go. Do we really have to drink this, honey? Maybe Mama should skip drinking this one. Hey, it's not that bad. No, no, I want to support Frank. I'll be fine. I'm sure it tastes better than it looks. Alright, I have both Charles and Yuri's numbers on speed dial in case anything happens. I love how protective Noah is. It's very sweet. Oh, wow, this definitely tastes better than it looks. You were right, buddy. I think this one works, Frank. You can even make a game out of it because it looks so off-putting, like a dare or even a spinner. The tourists will love it. Really? I thought it was going to taste terrible. Okay, I'll be honest. I didn't want to change the menu that uh, Mama and Dad made. So I purposely used ingredients that I thought would be horrible in drinks. Oh, sweetheart, you don't have to do that. The tavern is yours now. Hasn't been mine in many years. You're free to do whatever you want with it. Oh, hi, Helen. Oh my god, tis so many months. Can we count how many months? Good, that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, where was I? Right, two, three, six. <laughs> Oh gosh, I should just get prime. I should just get prime. Thank you so much, hon. Thank you so much for the 81 month tier 2 resub. I hope you and the girls are having fun. I hope that your uh, your Saturday is off to a good start. <laughs> I was just telling chat about our our horrible medical system. Um but yeah, welcome on in. Did I miss anyone joining us? Uh Getting into a new PCP was the hardest part. After the initial appointment, all the scheduling was a breeze, but also a lot of doctors aren't taking new patients. Yeah, when I took my mom into, like, the walk-in clinic recently, um, he was like, oh, you know, you, you don't have a family doctor? And she went, no. And he's like, oh, I haven't been taking new patients in, like, 25 years. And it's like, sir, <laughs> it's you. I thought Mike started his message with TTS Press Lamau. <laughs> TTS press them now. <laughs> UK, you don't have one doctor. You sent up to a GP surgery, which has multiple doctors. Yeah, that sounds kind of like what our walk-in clinic system is. You said you're actually like signed up, signed up. Just one earphone, and lucky I can hear. All right, let's continue. I wanted to give Frank a hot pepper. That's all I was trying to do this entire time. Gift. Oh, there's gift limits. Okay, I thought earlier it was because he was busy. It's because I just can't read. Understood. Well, no hot peppers for you, sir. All right, Han, have fun. Just switch to one of those doctor offices where you pay a monthly fee to go there. It's annoying, but they're really good and get you in quick. That, that sounds handy. It's unfortunate that, you know, you gotta pay, but... 
Yeah, it's like Stardew. Okay, is there... Let me try again, Joyful. <laughs> what? Ryan really does not want you to say that. It tells you, right? Yeah, I can see it says so 0 out of 2 there. He's up to 3 hearts? Wow. And the birthday gifting, though. The birthday gifting is where it's at. Oh, it's all good affection. I got what you meant. It happens. All right. Fine, he can say TTs. There you go. <laughs> it finally worked. Poor Brian, he works so hard to avoid saying inappropriate things. Oh my god, hon, I thought you- <laughs> Don't give it to ideas. I always enjoy it when it's the mods trying to cause chaos. It, it does make it more fun. Oh, what the heck was that? Was that a- Wasp? Did I see that right? Wait, bear with me. Eh. My boy poops too much. Oh my god, mine does too. Oliver's also kind of a smelly boy. Ew! Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Ew. Ew. Oh, and it moves funny. I don't like it. I just got an achievement. I'm sorry, what did that just say? I'm gonna replay that. I didn't hear it. Joyful. <laughs> Brian is- he's smart to your ways. We are innocent beings. I... I don't know about that, but I, you know... Whatever helps y'all sleep at night. The rock domino thing will take effect and then it doesn't and I get sad. Oop, there we go. The other day I uh I took my mom into the dentist. Um, she needs to have a lot of work done. Um, she's having a lot of dental problems, but um, brand new dentist hadn't been there before. And I think it was relatively recently. I don't know if it was all of Canada or just Ontario. It may have just been Ontario. Um, there's like a new dental thing for seniors where you sign up, you have a card. Um, and it's essentially like insurance, you don't pay as much. Um, which is great, you know. Um, but it took me a while to remember that that was half the reason why she was there. Because as I was sitting in the waiting room waiting for her... Oh, wait, let's see. Tips. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Poor Brian. Um, as I was sitting in the waiting room waiting for my mom, there were all these, like, people around her age and older shuffling in. And I do mean shuffling. Um. And I couldn't figure out why. I'm like, wow, there's, like, a lot of older people here. And then it dawned on me that they're all there for the same reason. And I'm like, oh, that makes sense. That's cool. Oh. 
Oh. Okay, some of these I don't think I can break in one go anymore. Oh, there we go. There's our way down. <laughs> I am impressed. The mod, or I should say Itsu, has broken the code. Cracked the code. That's the, that's the phrase. Whatever that was took a lot more hits to knock out. Oh, but it dropped something that we needed. those ones I can't break and want to hit. There's an alt code uh, for it. Finding it would be a pain though. <laughs> floor 14 so if I can get one more floor down that would be very nice There we go. All right, here we are. Um, I think I'm just gonna go back up. It's getting late. That time is flying today. How is it almost two o'clock? Where did my time go, chat? Why are y'all stealing it from me? I just started stream like five minutes ago. Twitch just kicked you out and then put you back in. I think Twitch has been a little wonky recently. I was having a lot of trouble the other day. Saturdays always go quickly for you. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, at least it put you back, you know? At least it's like, well... Oh, that goes in there. Um, yeah, I think maybe tomorrow. Oh, actually, I think there's an event coming up. Or it's someone's birthday tomorrow. But maybe tomorrow we'll do some more work on kind of laying out our little farm here and what we want to do. <gasps> I didn't buy a scarecrow. Good job, me. Yeah, usually you need to click on it again, but at least it brought you back in. Oh, I think our fishing rod is ready. Yay. Or fishing pole, I guess, in this game. Back to nature. Yep, already did that one. Uh, tomorrow's sunny. Did you know? Let's see. Yep, same one. Okay, good. <laughs> no birds. I'm just gonna buy another one, honestly. I'm just hoping he's open today. I bought it from Ben's place. And, uh, yes, expensive, but money well spent. Oh. Go. Oh, I think these might be tomatoes. So we might be in luck for that one quest. These done? Oh, yay, these are done. 
Cool, first dragon fruit harvest. said I think I'm gonna work on clearing our farm a bit more today although whose birthday was it it was Dinda's birthday what do you like what do you like Halloween games um yeah you know what we're gonna be playing epic mickey probably September and that would have been my Halloween game I think we're gonna go through of course Luigi's Mansion again but this year with crowd control or not crowd control uh retro achievements which I'm looking forward to uh Dinda likes pearls and melons flower bouquet so I could make that and fresh salad I don't think I was growing melons but I did see that they were something you could grow no I didn't grow any melons okay um I can do flowers though I don't know if I needed five different ones or not but I grabbed them anyway <laughs> So I can't convince you to play Condemned Criminal Origins for October. I don't know what that is, but it sounds either violent and or spooky and or both. For some reason I'm imagining Outlast, and I know it's not that, but both, yeah. I can handle the spooks. Violence is uh, debatable. Okay, I also need an egg still. No Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, Mike let me know that Five Nights at Freddy's is our current free PlayStation Plus game. The new one, or like one of the newer ones. The one where you're in the massive pizza plex. And uh, I, he sent me that text message and my answer was just lol nope. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good. Uh, is it? Oh, don't tell me it's the 10th anniversary. I don't like that. I remember that coming out a little bit too vividly. Let me see this, it's... Uh, well, already I have to add in my birth date. Now, this... This looks... Uh, how old is this? 2006! Oh, wow. I did. I streamed Five Nights at Freddy's one time, the original one, once, and that was enough for me. Thank you. I enjoy watching it, though. Or at least I did. Um... Where does Erica go? Oh, there you are. There you are. Right, you're usually on the bench. Do you just love Karen's haircut? That lady working at Pufferfish? That was me. I did that. Oh. You gave her the, the Karen haircut. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Alright, and then next we're gonna go find Dinda. Oh, Amnesia the Dark Descent. 
Yeah, I know there were some sequels, I think, that came out for that game, but that first one, especially when they allowed people to, like, create their own custom um, maps for it, that was a fun game. Again, one I'll watch, but I will never, ever touch. Got some wasabi earlier. Is it even in season? Is this a birthday gift? Wow, thank you so much. I love this. You're welcome. I'm really proud of myself. I don't usually stay on top of birthdays in, in uh, games. At least not first year. Like, maybe second year when I'm trying to befriend people. I can't wait to get cows. They are so cute in this game. Okay, so... Oh, um... Hopefully he's open. Saturday and Sunday. Oh, I, I think we're in luck. I think we're in luck. Cry Fear was another one I remember being really popular as well. Yeah, there was like a really big... I think, honestly, it was mainly because of like... Reaction YouTubers. Um... Which I think has like a different meaning these days, but like PewDiePie and them, you know, playing a spooky game and recording themselves and it just really took off around then. Oh, it's a farmer outfit, but it has uh, the game's creator's logo on it. That's cool. Oh, well, this isn't even all that. Oh. Oh, wait, no, no, this is right. It's 11 by 11. That's what I wanted. Thank you. It's kind of crazy to think that, like, you know, I'm not interested in horror at all, but because of those playthroughs, because I was watching those people back then, that's why I wanted to do YouTube. Developers the new Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is the developer of the shitty sequel to Amnesia. No, I'm not happy about it. Oh, concerns. <laughs> My concerns just grew. Did I not water? What is with me? I did not water those, did I? Hey, Taco, how are you today? Oh, come on in. Wrong bin. Wrong bin. There we go. Okay, so I was half debating putting a path just going straight down. Um, but I kind of wish it was a bit wider than this. I guess we'll see. some stuff for it and I will I not only will knock people for their yum I will knock the developers for creating that yum <laughs> don't be yucking someone's yum uh I don't know if I like the look of this floor let me get a good sample here to take a look see uh uh eh What do y'all think about this floor? Are we vibing with it? I don't know if I am, personally. It... It looks like it belongs inside? But I don't want to use those ones either. I like those ones there. I definitely don't want more stone. I want, like, difference, like, differentiation between the areas, you know? I don't think I'm saying that word right, but we're going to go with it.
first I bought pads and other things from the furniture shop. Oh, now there's an idea. Is it like recipes or is it like actually buying pads? You actually buy them. Okay, Monday, Sunday until five and the furniture's... Oh, wrong button. The furniture store is this one? Yes. I don't know if this is faster or not, but it looks closer, so. Is this place getting covered in vines? Are they? That wasn't always there, right? It's like getting over, overrun. Oh, okay, that's intriguing. All right, how how expensive is this? Let me take a look. Oh, right. Yes, this is the place I shouldn't be. Oh, this is really the place I shouldn't be. Chat, why is everything cute? Oh, send help. Okay. Oh, we're looking respectfully. Uh, eh. Oh, but those wooden fences, though. Oh, but the lawn flamingo or beach flamingo. Oh, that's cute. Not so big on that one. It reminds me of the disco stage from Luigi's Mansion 3. Can I... Whoops, my hand. It just keeps slipping. I really shouldn't spend money right now. I want pretty fences. <laughs> I did it was planned out my entire farm and save money and then I dropped a crap ton of money on everything. So, okay. While I'm thinking of it then. Um Did you like is there like an online planner? For Coral Island Farms? Like there is for Stardew. Because if there is, I know what I'm doing after stream today. I was thinking, right? I might get rid of this last section here. So I can kind of open this up a bit more. Um, I don't think there is. Oh, so you were just like by hand? Planning? These ones aren't sticking out to me as much as the uh, the other ones, unfortunately. And then I was just thinking about like having like um, and let's say you get down to like here, and then there's like a cross into this section. Although I might, uh, you know what, actually? Yeah, you remembered how the layout was, got you. Might do something a little different. Uh, let's see. Something like that. And I'll probably end up having to actually move these down by one because I kind of want to fence this in. But, you know, something along these lines, this side can be animals and all that good stuff. We could have a big thing of crops over on this side. 
I'm liking that. I'm liking that. There's sort of, it's not actually like started with items and stuff, but you can get the base plan and plan it out on your own. Okay. Always look at the map with the button and have a guess of what area you'd like things to be. Yeah, when you eventually unlock it. Yeah. So I already, I like that little bit at the beginning there. I think that looks really cute. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll get it sorted, but we gotta actually clear out our farm first. This, this field feels so much bigger than a lot of the other farm sims we've played. Mm-hmm. Every game needs it. Yeah, you put them near the pond, right? I think that's also why I was choosing that side. I was just kind of gravitating that way. How was your nap, Rosie? two barns that's a lot of space I give them a big area and decorated it a little bit I can't remember what game it was where animals tended to like bunch up near the entrance I think I'm thinking of mineral town actually that always kind of bugged me Oop. I was not paying attention But yeah, once uh once spring is over or sorry, summer is over, that banana tree is gonna be gone anyway. Um I know right now it kinda looks a little weird. <laughs> that tree will not be there forever. Um and oh, was it corn or something that was it this game that was telling me that something is gonna progress into the next season? I was gonna say, if everything here wilts, then I might take the time to readjust and move things down. Is it the hot pepper? Okay. Good to know. Oh, I can only do three at a time. Whoopsies. These, I don't know what to do with those, so those are gonna go in there. Uh, right, and I didn't put anything in there today because I gave that egg to Erica. Cool. Well, we got some planning done. A little bit of cleared out space, too. I need to go back and see what I can get with my uh, merit points, too. Gotta be a farmer. Uh, fall is almost here, Sprout, to get everything ready yet. Well, new season, new crops, I always say, and all kinds of new things are growing in the wild. My wife and I used to take Gary to the forest as soon as fall arrived. The youngest addition, Robert, we'll call him Bob, is more of an indoor type. Take care of the animals and whatnot. I think he gets it from his mama, who's a nurse. Anyway, come fall first, we go out for the day, look for black trumpets, uh, Matsutakis? Am I saying that right? Those kind of things. Just find them. Easy sprouts, very easy. Mushrooms everywhere, I remember. Um, I made it down to, I think it was floor 15 of the water mines. I don't know if I should be doing more there. When I'm back, Pepper's mom and Nan invited me around for a chippy tea. Oh, how was it? Was it tasty? 
Let me see what I post in the Discord. I did not. I did not. Oops. What's going on over there? Um. Yep, I already read that one. Hey, Matilda. It was good. I'm glad. Hey, Crystal Day. It's the day opening ceremony day. Oh, fair warning, friends. We do have an ad break coming up here in about uh, a minute, just so you know. Oh, no worries, cat lover. Enjoy your nap. Oh, did you tag me too? I'll have to go check. I haven't been on Discord since earlier. Oh, you're doing the Splatfest? What's the, uh, what's the Splatfest theme? Definitely get through the mines. Getting to the fire mine is quite important since it's Osimi. Os Osmium? Okay. I'm gonna pick you up so we can go to the museum together. Are you ready? I don't really have a choice. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot something at home. You know what? Why don't you go on ahead and I'll see you at the museum. Gotta rush, Chris. I'll see you at the museum. Just in case you didn't hear me the first two times. Oh. Okay, I thought it was like actually gonna let me go later, but... Yes, just in case you forget. Crystal, have you seen Scott? He's late. He's supposed to start the ceremony. Basically, you're ready. I'm okay. Oh, bread, rice, and pasta. Oh, for me, that'd be pasta, 100%. Welcome, honored guests. To the grand opening of the Founders Hall. I want to thank you all for coming to this grand opening. This museum is truly a collaboration between everyone here and even those that are not present. I would like to extend our gratitude to all the backers who were here today and believed in us to contribute to the building of our museum. This room, this Founders Hall, is the least we can do. Enough blathering for me, time for us to finally, officially open our Founders Hall. Mayor Connor, if you do the honor. Thank you, Scott. I was skeptical that there'd be this many people from all around the world who'd want to give us their money. Glad I was proven wrong. I'm sure you're all impatient to see the inside of this Founders Hall. So with this, I declare the Founders Hall officially open. Oh, did you have a nap? I hope that they helped at least. Ah! Oh. <laughs> They're all taking pictures of that person in the unicorn outfit. <laughs> Enjoy your food, Itsu. Oh, look, that's me! So that's what I look like from the back, huh? <laughs> that would be my first thing. It's like, alright, how does the booty look? Dang, it's even more magnificent in real life. <gasps> that one person on the left was wearing the, uh, the Harvest Moon cap. The one that Tater is also wearing. job, Scott. You pulled it off. Aw, oh, shucks, Millie. Thanks for believing in me. Minus points for being late, though. They'll go into your annual report. Aw, oh, come on, Millie. I worked so hard on this. You know, I tried, really tried to find a formal outfit for the opening ceremony. This? This is all I had. 
Maybe it's time for a trip to White Flamingo, you know? You did great, but tardiness is still tardiness. Well, I'll leave you to it. Looks like Mayor Connor needs some help. You did good, Scott. What are the chances of you both getting Baka, by the way? Like, how many characters are there? You know, I was actually really nervous there at the opening. Um, yeah, or, you know, I'm not going to say I could tell because honestly I couldn't. Oh, that's good then. It's really cool when you think about it, you know, I had this dream that I wanted to make come true, then I threw it out into the world to ask for help. I thought maybe a handful of people would see the magic behind my dream and help me, but I never thought this many people wanted to make my dream come true. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Oh, I almost forgot this is what I ran to get earlier. This is for you, just as a little thank you for all you've done for the museum so far. This is a soft bristle brush. It's similar to the one I've been using to clean fossils and torn pages I found around the island. I think it'll be very useful for you based on what I've seen from you so far. I'm sure this brush will get a lot of mileage in your hands. Let me know if you find something exciting, okay? Can't wait to see what you'll bring to the museum. Huh. Soft bristle brush. You've acquired a soft bristle brush. Unlocks the ability to recover fossils and torn pages. Intriguing. Are you expecting me to believe that that all happened, by the way, before six in the morning? <laughs> Because it seems that way. So 1 in 63 chance of pulling Waka back to back. Waka is quite insane. Someone do it again. Maybe the bot's just broken. Maybe the bot's having a moment. I don't know anything before 6 a.m. is a criminal. Nope. Bot's not broken. That was just pure luck. Oh, you got you. <laughs> ah, yes. I know who that is. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, you were saying the mines are important, so maybe we'll go back in there today. And I'm gonna bring some of uh, these with me. Yeah, that's- they're from- Final Fantasy VIII, which I have not properly played and I don't know if I ever will. Maybe one day. Is that a large duck egg already? What? Nice. I own eight. I got it as a Christmas present. I'm 95% sure as to why. Wait. I'm intrigued. Why? Eight, thirteen, fifteen is a no games for me. Yeah, I want to sit down and actually play through eight at some point, but like, it's gonna take some time. Unlocks a mayonnaise machine? Oh, wait, I understand. It, I already had that unlocked. Okay. Ask for seven remake that year. Parents most likely know a little about Final Fantasy. So they see eight, assume it's the sequel and get it for me. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, okay, we got another one. I see. That's, that's funny. They tried. They tried. Oh, uh... 
These are like really big machines. I love some of the eight characters, but you don't like the story so much. I just really don't like the gameplay. This is not big on like the draw system and how like, you know, you kind of don't want to level up and... Man. <laughs> Reminds me of my mom when I was younger. She got me Pokemon Yellow, Red, and Blue. And then she got me Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. And I was like, heck yeah, I have all of them. And then she wised up around Gen 3 <laughs> and only got me Ruby. <laughs> I was keeping my mouth shut. Yeah, nine is nine is very good. I have a mind to go through nine again at some point with the is it called the Mogiri mod or something like that? People were mentioning it during my more recent stream of it. Yeah, I've heard phenomenal things, so. Also, I think I might actually hold off because uh, Suna Mods, who is behind so many of my favorite mods for Final Fantasy VII, uh, they're working on a voice acted mod for Final Fantasy IX. And occasionally he'll stream it. He'll stream the, like, the work he's doing on it. And um, the characters sound awesome. Zidane sounds exactly like what I expect him to sound like. Steiner is phenomenal. Like, it's just, I want to play with those voices. Um, 12 is all right. I've played a decent chunk of it. And 11 is an MMO. Oh, what the heck did I just... Oh, that's my fossil. Okay. You discover your fossil. Take it to the lab to process. Discover which ancient creatures remains you've unearthed. If that fossil was blue, it would look a heck of a lot like the Animal Crossing one. <laughs> Yeah, so 12 is different because it's not a, I mean, it's, it's not really turn-based per se. I mean, it kind of is. Um, it has something called the Gambit system. So if you remember those like robot battle things with Chadley and Cosmo Canyon in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, it's that, but with people. So you can, be like, okay, if your health falls below 50%, use this. Like, essentially you're programming your characters, and like there's neat things you can do. But I didn't really enjoy it. It's too much thinking for little old me. Yeah, they just never pop up in conversation. think that I need to come up with a command idea. My heart says it should be runescaping. Yes, absolutely. I was thinking you'd probably do something with runescape, but I don't know anything about it to give you any suggestion. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, I've barely seen even any gameplay of Eleven. I, I really don't know much about it. I have an idea at all to my commands lately. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. We can do that. Whatever it is you want. Except for banning you. Dang. <laughs> it's just like random's gonna write some like auto script for the bot to actually ban him. <laughs> I 
thankfully with being a Final Fantasy fan, mine was pretty easy to come up with. Oh? Are you in the ground? Is that normal? I don't know if that one is normal, so I'm gonna ignore it. I found an amber shield ray. Uh, small chance to completely block damage. That sounds handy. All right, we made it to 420. It's three o'clock. If I eat these, I might be able to get down even further. Have it ban you and then on a timer unban. Let's see. still blaming something just pull something random to blame oh that'd be kind of fun i'm down for that oh silver what if uh and again this is a someone who does not know the first thing about uh runescape um what if yours is like random pulse because you're always going on about bosses dropping certain things Poison me? Wow, that was rude. I've thought about that. There might be too many drops. <laughs> oh, and the guy's being really nice to me right now. Something to do with the skills, maybe? Like a level ups or something? Let me just pull up the Pokemon Redemption for a number check. Oh my god, yeah. Uh you should see the behind the scenes on the Pokemon Redemption. <laughs> Man, it's nice and sunny. I think I might go out for a walk after stream today. I've been very lazy and haven't really been outside too much. Pokemon Redemption has currently 4,648 potential pulls. Oh my god. And of course, there's new Pokemon get added. Do you think we're gonna hear anything soon about that, by the way? We're actually about, like, the next Nintendo thing in general. Hi, Rosie. What's up? Your maternity pillow might be too big. What do you mean, like, like too big for you right now? Or like, in general? It's half my kitchen. Oh. Yeah, no, that might be too big. <laughs> I don't think he'll grow into that one. That's so funny. Are there pictures in the Discord? I'll have to check after. Wait. Or I'll check now. Let's see. <laughs> oh, what a weird looking pillow. Find another pregnant woman in Shayer. 
do like the kitty cats do. I've seen so many lovely stories about mama kitty cats coming together to raise kittens. Like just collectively together in a group. We don't deserve kitties. They're too nice. Come here. My husband's face is very limited now. Uh, that does look comfy though. I've been tempted in the past to get one of those just because of the weird way I like to sleep. Okay, uh, so that is floor 25. I'd say that's pretty good, especially in one day. Speaking of kitties, Molly has now claimed ownership of Pepper's chair after throwing up on it during the night. After throwing up on mine last week. <laughs> she needed somewhere soft and comfortable to throw up, okay? Don't judge. I can't confirm. Tony has a slither of bed left. <laughs> I'm a judge anyway, because she can't clean it up. <laughs> True. Alright, how about I tell you this, that I'm sorry if this squeams anyone out. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, uh, maybe it's too gross, actually. How about- okay, I'll say this. Be thankful she wasn't running. Mid- did throw up because we've definitely had that happen before and yes the mess is massive <laughs> sleep on the side with one part of the pillow between my legs for better blood circulation yep uh farming level four ordinary scarecrow and hydro two Yeah, we had a cat that was scared of throwing up, so her gut reaction when she started to be sick was to run. So just a trail behind her. And it's like, it's sad because, you know, there's nothing you can do about it, but... Ceramic bowls. Yeah, I can make my own. Um, are they 11 by 11? Oh, they are! Yay! Okay, cool. So now I don't have to buy his anymore. His are very expensive. Compared to making my own. Uh, Crystal, I have to admit, I'm writing to you today with an agenda. While shooting the video the other day, I spotted several animals stumbling on a large log behind my house. They fell and got hurt. I hate to be a bother, but could you break up the log? I don't have the right tool and I need your help on this. Okay, I'm assuming I need a higher level axe, right? Maybe? Go ahead and make my over them, grab them, bring them to the kitchen so they're sick there. Sometimes it's just while other times they launch it while in the air. Yep. Better to be on tile where it's easy to clean up. I get that all too well. Oh yay, tomatoes are done too. Bear is also terrified of throwing up. I always need to talk to him when it happens so he doesn't freak out. Poor sweet beans. Okay, anything else can be harvested. I need to upgrade it. Okay, so maybe that can be our next task here. Uh, I checked them a while back, but I need to check them again. Can I return it? <laughs> uh, I think they're from Final Fantasy VI. 
I think. Yeah. Um, affection for my axe upgrade, does that need to be bronze or silver? You can do with bronze. Okay. Um... Question. Oh, I do have some ready to go. Nice. Okay. Cool. Um, so we're gonna go back into the mines today. Uh, but I will bring my axe, and I think I need some wood and some of these. Tifa, will I get banned? Nope. You've been blessed by Tifa. You cannot get banned then. Okay, who needed the tomato? Uh, your birthday's on the 24th. It's the 23rd today. Farming. A chance to double crops. Double crop one. Um, go. Oh, I need four to mate. Oh, God. Okay. It's a good thing I read it. Super Walter. Which I usually yeah, I see him up by his house over here. What are your favorite and least favorite video games? Um Favorite Kingdom Hearts. Uh probably one and two in particular. Uh, Final Fantasy 7, hands down, remakes and original. Oh, that one's done. Uh, original Luigi's Mansion. I think that that just, I don't know, it just hits all the happy, you know, triggers in my head. Uh, Psychonauts. Although, mm, I don't know, I'm stuck between Psychonauts 1 and 2. I like both quite a lot. Oh, uh, Harvest Moon or Story Seasons A Wonderful Life. That has to be on the list, absolutely, hands down. Um, least favorite? I don't really have many games that I actively dislike that I've played. I'm not big into many first-person shooters, and that's just like a me thing. It's nothing against the game. I don't think they're bad. It's just, they're not for me. Um, I don't really like playing heavily competitive games, with the exception being like a Splatoon, and that's about it. There we go. Um. That's a good question. Yeah, I don't really have many games that I actively dislike. If this is stone, then you can use a bronze axe. If it's a hardwood block, you need silver. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I can finally get rid of that one stump that's been bugging me then. I should have... taken the fast travel. <laughs> that's okay.
right, so I think we're gonna make it down to floor 30 today. Hopefully. Um, and then it's 30 to 40 is the one straight stretch where you can't stop midway through, so do that one another day. Maybe it's one of those things where you have to, like, keep hitting. It's not, like, one hit, you know? Or unless it gave you, like, an error message. Oh yeah, you got an error message. Okay, hmm. That's weird. It's like it didn't recognize that it had been upgraded yet or something. Game, could I, this is still the first floor. Could I just go down? No? It's like icy down here. That's cool. Like literally cool. Can I tip for the mines? You may. You may. I need all of the the tints and hips. Yeah, I I know how to make those, and I just haven't been. I probably should, huh? What do you need to make them? Oh, wasn't it something silly like stone? I think I remember commenting on it. Yeah. Oh. Right, I can... I can make some here. That's interesting. They do take up a lot of stone, but... Handy. Yeah, they're essentially just staircases. I figure I've been getting so much stone from digging my way through anyway. I don't mind spending it if I really need to. Probably won't use it today though. Yeah, exactly, when it gets like annoying. See if there's any other uh, iron down here or uh, silver, <laughs> whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stone at one point, right? Yeah, I noticed uh, earlier we were kind of. stocking up on it. Then again, 
Um, I also like the look of the stone pathways and fences, so <laughs> I could use it that way as well. New fossil. You can do it. Give me some stairs. Or they're not even stairs in this game, but I will continue to call them stairs because it's, you know, the stardew is like baked into me at this point. Well, I guess I'm using the uh, the ropes. That's cool, and you literally like put it down just like you wouldn't start it. Eight. Um. Okay, we do got some iron that I want to try to grab, or whatever it's called. One more. I got explosives too. Nice, I shouldn't be trusted with these. Alright, so that's 430. please. I have not used it at all yet, so. Oh, you used it to clear your farm? You know what? Handy. Handy. I will, I will take that. Three years of crystal being entertaining. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Pat, thank you so much for the 36 month resub. I appreciate that. I hope you like your new heart badge. At least I believe that should be new. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you've been doing good. Oh, three years. And that's scary because I remember when you joined in. <laughs> There's some people I just, I seem to remember more than others for like when they joined in. I don't know why. Just my brain sticks on certain things. Hey, Cam, how are you? Um, uh, let's see here. So you guys are all dealt with. You're all good. Looking forward to uh, fall in this game. I think I really want to get this looking a little prettier. You really like the three year badge? I think it's I remember if it's eight or nine, like the longest badge I could have done at the time when we made them is like a rainbow heart. It's very pretty. Um, but the color Pat says right now, the like blue to green reminds me of like fruit gushers for some reason, and that makes me happy. I'll get there someday. <laughs> Yep, random has his first badge. <laughs> oh, yay! Bronze axe upgrade! Heck. Yes. Now, unfortunately, friends... That's gonna have to wait for tomorrow. <laughs> I do got a boogie on out of here. Thank you all so much for hanging out, though, with me today. If you are new and you'd like to drop a follow, I'm usually live every day except for Thursdays and Fridays. 
um, pretty much for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be streaming Coral Islands. If you're here for farming sims, if you're here for Coral Island, hang out. Come on back. Um, pretty much Saturdays through to Tuesdays, I play Coral Island. Wednesdays, I leave open. Although this week, we know what we're going to do, and I'm really excited for it. So, mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. why, hello, sir. Uh, copy mm -hmm. down the raid message. Let's go say hi mm -hmm. to... Uh, we gotta go say hi to someone. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of people online. There's a lot of choice. And I'm not good with choice. I think we're gonna go say hi to Flotista. They're streaming some Stardew Valley, which we all know I love dearly. 623 years. My goodness. Been around since before I've been around. There we go. Have an awesome one, friends. And hopefully... I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one.